Hi there. Uh, the, uh, my topic generally quantitative methods, but my special area in uh, uh, in uh, education. And uh, because uh, during the uh, pandemic, and I would like to study on uh, how this uh, pandemic affects the students' uh, behaviors and also how they are going to uh, get the anxiety, how they, uh, they are going to reduce their anxiety during this term because uh, we already uh, changed our education system into uh, online education and how this affects our results. That's why uh, the, uh, with my colleague uh, Claire Chua, and uh, we did this research and we applied the, the research uh, to all students. Uh, of course, to all, not all students actually, and uh, we got their results from uh, the uh, LMF and uh, for this one, uh, but uh, we applied a survey for limited uh, students because of the volunteer uh, application. And my topic here, perception of students on online uh, exams and how sequential exams uh, and the lockdown browser affects students' anxiety and performance. And, oops, why this is not working. <laughs> Down. Uh, slides. Here? Okay. Uh, okay, good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to follow this. Okay, and uh, in my agenda uh, today, and uh, first I'm going to give the instruction and then aim of the uh, research and then data and how we are going to collect our data and then methodology, findings and conclusion. And uh, in the uh, first part, uh, the introduction part, and online education, we know uh, the, this is uh, most important in the, after uh, COVID pandemic. That's why uh, the, uh, this is uh, uh, this has affected our system a lot, and uh, the, uh, some of the schools are ready to uh, convert this system, uh, but some of them are not. But uh, the, uh, in my school, it's... Uh, a little bit ready and uh, we are uh, just in panic and how to deal with uh, the, this kind of stuff and uh, the, uh, the, the, how to solve the problems, but we did uh, already. But we don't know uh, how our students, uh, the, uh, uh, how our students uh, that uh, just behave uh, for this one. That's why, and we uh, just uh, researched that one. And uh, actually, online education, uh, there are some uh, the, uh, this, uh, advantages for this and because of the flexibility and or accessibility and some of the uh, students can work and uh, then uh, just attend the lectures uh, online. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, and the discuss, uh, the, the, there is a balance actually, and uh, there are uh, the, uh, disadvantages of the uh, situation because uh, the, the, uh, the students uh, just affected from the exam strategy and how they are going to learn the topic. And uh, because uh, the, uh, if this is not the uh, leave lecture and they are going to uh, learn the, the, uh, the topics by themselves, that's why, and these are uh, the main problems, and we have to uh, find the balance between advantage and disadvantages. And in this paper, an empirical study uh, was undertaken to examine the students' preferences for the online exams and how the protracting exams uh, pro uh, impacting on students' anxiety and uh, performance. Uh, our uh, aim, uh, actually, to do this one, perception of students on online education, and then what are the challenges on online exams, and how the online exams affect students' stress and anxiety, and how does the uh, lockdown browser affect students' anxiety? Is there any positive or negative relationship between students' uh, anxiety and performance? And the last one, is there any gender, class standing uh, and uh, having own room on students' anxiety and performance.
And uh, we use this topic and for gender and class standing. And uh, we, uh, we have, uh, that there are many uh, literature uh, related to gender or um, not the class standing or uh, the performance, but uh, the uh, uh, having own room, uh, we couldn't find any uh, research related to uh, having own room uh, or class standing a lot. Okay, and uh, the data and methodology, and uh, actually uh, we uh, use uh, our uh, learning management system to collect the data about uh, student performance. And uh, we had uh, 2,456 students uh, totally. And uh, I worked at uh, York University as well, and uh, the, uh, the, uh, I use uh, all the, uh, I asked all my students to do this. Uh, to apply the survey and uh, to get that one. And uh, they, uh, they uh, uh, participated the survey from engineering and business students, and they participated only 313 of them. And uh, in the, in, uh, during the fall term uh, uh, and winter term of 2020 and 2021. And this data uh, actually uh, the, uh, examined the student perceptions uh, about the performance and in their relations to uh, factors and gender, how to find their gender and the class standing and uh, the, uh, whether they had their own room or not. And uh, with their permission, and uh, we uh, just uh, get their results, their performance uh, from our LMS system. And the uh, data analyzed by chi-square test, this is the simple one actually, uh, because when I uh, study on this and with different methods, uh, the uh, data mining or something, and it takes uh, page and page. That's why we uh, just uh, focus on uh, chi-square test uh, for the differences here. And the first one, the finding and perceptions on online learning. And I uh, just uh, put here only the, uh, the, the tables and all together, gender, class, and uh, the, uh, also the other one, own room and uh, the grades. And for each questions, and I uh, just, I will discuss this a uh, little bit uh, in detail. And uh, the, uh, in which part they have the, the differences and they, have, uh, they do not have any difference here. And uh, the, the, for the first uh, part, and we have uh, 25 items in our analysis, in our uh, survey, we asked them about their perceptions, online education perceptions, and uh, with uh, two, four questions, uh, let's say, and I uh, just selected four of them here. And uh, also we continue with the other items and uh, to, uh, uh, to check their uh, anxiety and online learning and uh, the, uh, the other uh, kind of uh, stuff uh, here. And in this uh, part, in the first part, and uh, think about uh, their perceptions of online learning. Actually, we did this one in detail with another uh, research uh, before, and uh, we saw that, and uh, we had another paper and that we are gonna compare the results uh, about perception of online uh, learning. And uh, now uh, for this one, uh, the, uh, we, have, we saw that I prefer doing online project by myself. You see that in gender, uh, there is no gender differences and there is no class differences, uh, class standing differences. Only differences uh, we saw that Statistics and mathematics are very hard to learn in an online class here, and about uh, re with respect to gender. And in gender case, uh, you see that, and now uh, the 57.5% uh, uh, of the students, uh, the, I mean male students, are agree, and uh, the uh, only 45.2% uh, of uh, female students uh, just agree on that. And uh, the uh, similar uh, differences that we have uh, here in the uh, class standing, uh, the, uh, I prefer doing online project by myself. My, by, uh, self. And uh, the, uh, this one, first year students, 55.1%. But uh, when you look at that one, this is the fourth year students, 70.6%. 
they would like to do their uh, assignment or homework by themselves because uh, the online uh, just connection system and uh, they have problems in the if uh, the uh, fourth year students in the, the in the future uh, the, I mean uh, they uh, he, they are repeating the course or uh, they are taking the course later in that case and uh, the uh, they have uh, no connection with the uh, classmates. That's why, and uh, they, they would like to do that by themselves in that way. And uh, the other one, uh, the statistics and maths are very hard to learn in an online education. You see that for the year students, they, uh, they don't care about this actually because 35%, 3%, 35.3%, uh, but uh, on the other hand, first, uh, first year students, 56.9%. And uh, they are, uh, the. I mean, this is a problem for uh, the first year students. And uh, the similar one, the last part, and uh, you see, there is no big difference for the, I spend more time uh, to learn the materials on the online course, but uh, generally female students, uh, much better than uh, the male students here. And in the uh, with respect to class standing, and you see, uh, we are gonna see that, and uh, fourth year students, they don't uh, have, and I mean, their uh, anxiety or their learning uh, ability is less than uh, the first year students, and first year students, and that uh, they have more uh, the uh, fair uh, to learn uh, math and uh, the uh, statistics online course. And uh, for the own room, there is no big difference uh, the uh, having own room or not. And uh, but the grades here, uh, there are some uh, points and only the statistics uh, and math again, uh, very difficult, very hard to learn in online courses. And uh, in that way, you see that in the class differences, I hope I can show you in that way. Yeah, class differences, 40% with grade A, and uh, on the other hand, oops, and uh, the 50% uh, for grade, uh, grade uh, F. You see, if the students uh, just uh, they, uh, fail, and uh, they have 50% uh, fair in their uh, learning in math or uh, statistics. On the other hand, uh, the uh, first year students and uh, do not have that much uh, fair in their uh, behavior. And uh, but the, the D students, you see that, and this is uh, the uh, just to opposite the F students and 64.7%. It's very interesting for this condition. And also we have uh, the uh, same differences, similar differences. I prefer doing uh, an online project by myself and F students, and they don't want to do them, uh, the, uh, they want to do them uh, their uh, online assignment by themselves because they couldn't find any uh, the, uh, friend uh, to do the uh, assignment together and they failed as a, actually, and the others, it's a 51, and it changed from 51 to 63% here. And uh, the other one, perceptions of online exams. And actually we have 16 uh, the items in this part. That's why I divided this one into two uh, cases, online exam, perception of online exams, uh, one, and uh, the uh, the other one as well, and uh, with respect to gender, class differences, and also uh, having own room and uh, the uh, anxiety case. Again, uh, for online exams, and uh, the uh, I cannot show my uh, knowledge when uh, writing an online test, online test, and uh, there, there is a small difference between male and female students. But on the other hand, the questions are easier for online tests than for in-class tests. You see that uh, here, 20.4% for the first year student, and uh, the second year student, 15.1, and the other one, a uh, third year uh, student, 16.7, and fourth year student, 35.3%. Uh, and you see there is a big gap between uh, the uh, second year and, uh, the, and the fourth year students here because uh, the uh, second year students uh, percentage is uh, very low uh, for this case.
And uh, the other one, I prefer multiple choice question. Actually, uh, most of the students, when I uh, did this uh, research, and I saw that most of the students uh, would like to get multiple choice questions. And this uh, reflected uh, to our results here as well. 76.6% from male students, 80.8% uh, from uh, female students, you see. And they want to get uh, the multiple choice questions because at least they have, if we have five choices, they have 20% chance for each question. Otherwise, writing all these, and it, it will be difficult uh, for them because there will be freezing issues and they are uh, the submitting issues. And that's why they would like to get them in online uh, format. And this is same as in class uh, format as well. I mean, uh, the, uh, with respect to their classes. But first year students uh, mostly uh, prefer uh, multiple choice questions. But uh, the, on the other hand, fourth year students, only 52.9%, uh, approximately 53% of these students in the fourth year, and they uh, prefer uh, to get this one in uh, multiple choice uh, questions on the online exam. And the rest of them, we don't have the big differences, and uh, the, uh, because only uh, the big differences uh, in the classes and I prefer multiple choice questions uh, on online tests. And also the questions are easier for online tests and for, uh, uh, for in-class tests uh, here. And uh, these are the uh, differences what we have, but the, the, the rest of them, they are gonna be uh, similar. Okay, uh, is it the one same? Okay, let's see. And when we compare them with respect to the own room, and again, uh, we are going to see some differences uh, between males, uh, uh, I mean, having own room and uh, not having own room. And in this case, the questions are easier, you see. And having own room, uh, they have 21.1%, uh, 20.1%. And on the other hand, uh, the 14.8% uh, and they don't have their own room. And only differences here can see on the own room, I prefer multiple choice question again. And 83.3%, uh, they all, uh, I mean, the, well, most of them agree for that. And uh, the, uh, with uh, having no room, and on the other hand, 77.6% having own room, and uh, the, uh, but this uh, shows us mostly they would like to get uh, the uh, questions in online exam, uh, I mean, in multiple choice format. And uh, the, uh, the last one here, I don't like multiple choice questions uh, with many parts in online tests because I will not earn partial credit on mark. This is another issue. When they answer their questions, when they uh, ask, when you ask uh, them uh, the uh, short answer questions, and they will get partial credit. But the, uh, but if uh, there is multiple choice question, and they are gonna get zero or uh, full mark. And in that case, and uh, you see that mostly uh, the uh, the uh, having own room, and uh, they uh, they have fifty percent. 50% of them uh, like that. And on the other hand, 50, uh, approximately 60% of the students all agree uh, about uh, this one. They would like to get uh, the, uh, the questions in a short answer format. And uh, actually, they would like to get a partial credit for this one. And uh, the, uh, this depends on actually our uh, design of our questions. And uh, let's say when we ask them uh, the math question or stat questions, we can ask them uh, the step by step and we can give them partial credit uh, on online tests, but it takes time to prepare all these. That's why, and uh, the, as, uh, the, uh, because uh, we were not ready at the beginning, that's why, and uh, we uh, just ask them uh, true or false, I mean, or uh, just select one of the choices. And this uh, is the uh, problem for mo most of the students uh, later on. Anyhow, for the grades, when we compare them, actually the, the grade differences I prefer in class tests to online tests. 
And uh, the, there is a big difference uh, here, and uh, because uh, the chi-square result is 0 0.03 and less than 0 0.05. So uh, the, uh, the, when we compare the grades here, you see F grades, and uh, the, I mean the, the students who failed, 13.16%, just uh, they agree for that. But on the other hand, uh, for B classes and uh, B grades, and 37.3%, uh, this is the highest one, and it uh, changes in, the, in this range. But uh, the, uh, most of them, I mean the F grade students, they don't like that. And uh, the other one here, multiple choice questions, they have the, the same thing, which is selecting multiple choice questions. Again, uh, the mostly F students, and then, oh, oh sorry, uh, F students, D students, they would like to get, uh, especially D uh, grade students, they would like to get uh, the uh, multiple choice questions. And the others, uh, they are uh, confident for that one. And uh, the own room and the grades, again, uh, continue with this one. And uh, you see, since I don't have the private room for myself, it's very difficult to concentrate when writing the test. And there is a big difference here uh, in this part, having own room or not. And uh, the, the, uh, approximately 60% uh, saying no uh, for uh, no uh, ha not having own room and only 25 percent approximately 26 percent having own room and they uh, agree they completely agree uh, the, uh, it's very difficult to concentrate uh, when writing the test if they don't have uh, this room and uh, more time should be given this is another issue for that one more times, uh, generally, uh, they would like to get uh, more time online tests. But uh, because uh, in order to reduce the uh, cheating abilities, cheating, and uh, we have to give them uh, limited time. But uh, they would like to get this one uh, as they are in class exam or in person exam. Uh, that's why uh, this is a problem for them. And 73% uh, the uh, not having uh, oh having own room and 64 percent having own uh, not having own room they agree for this one. This is similar to uh, for the grades. You see that and uh, the uh, here uh, online tests are more challenging than in class tests and this is true for F students more, mostly and 36 percent uh, the uh, just uh, agree for that. And on the other hand, uh, the uh, 24 or yeah, 24 percent or 23 uh, yeah, percent, and uh, they agree for this one. And uh, the, uh, actually, there is no big difference, but the uh, the uh, the grade differences, uh, preferences uh, will affect the result uh, here. And uh, the uh, last one here, since I don't have private room my for myself. It's very difficult to concentrate. Uh, again, there is a differences. I underline them uh, here to see uh, easily because it's difficult to show this uh, here. Uh, it's just gonna change the system directly. That's why. And uh, another one uh, here, stress and anxiety. This is our uh, the third topic and uh, that check the students' uh, st uh, stress and anxiety with respect to gender, class, and uh, the, uh, and the uh, other two items, having own room and uh, the grades. And uh, in that case, we're, with respect to gender, we are gonna see that only uh, the uh, differences, big differences, we are gonna see uh, here, sequential tests. And uh, they are back-to-back -back, uh, questions, and uh, they are not gonna see the previous one. And sequential tests increase my stress. There is a difference uh, here between male, female and male students. And uh, females less uh, 45%. And, uh, the, uh, but male students, 60%, approximately 60%, they don't like that one, uh, the sequential test. And uh, the, the second one here the, that we are going to see a little bit difference. I prefer in-class tests to online tests because this, this increase their stress. And uh, there is a small difference. 
and also no going back to previous questions. In online exams, we are not letting students to go back and to see their answers because of the cheating issue. They are using different the uh, 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 different uh, what and technological devices. Let's say Facebook or uh, Cloud or something. They are sending. Uh, they are taking the picture and uh, uh, posting them. And uh, all of a sudden, they take the answers. And then they uh, change their answers if they didn't do correctly. And that's why to protect uh, this kind of cheating, and we have to uh, just uh, use the system and not to let them to go back uh, for, to see their answers again. That's why and uh, the, this uh, will cause a stress for students in uh, later because if they want to uh, cheat, of course, this is a big problem for them. And uh, the uh, in class standing, when we check that, and uh, the uh, again, uh, preferring online tests, uh, on, uh, I mean, in class tests to online tests, mostly fourth year students, they would like to get that. And uh, but uh, the uh, you see the, the second year students okay and uh, third year students they don't uh, they want uh, this one uh, the less than uh, the fourth year students but mostly fourth year students prefer online exams uh, I mean in class uh, exams and uh, the other one uh, the the online education and test increase my mental health problems. You see, this is uh, the uh, the main issue for uh, class one, and I mean first year students. F approximately fifty one percent of them, and they have uh, the uh, mental issues because of the COVID, uh, and uh, they increase uh, everybody's uh, life, uh, in, yeah, in negative way, and uh, the uh, the of course uh, the online education and uh, the learning by themselves and. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, also writing the test online and the, the, this will cause a problem for the first year students more than the fourth year students or the say, second or third year students here. And uh, the, uh, again, uh, the, this is a problem for not going back on the previous test and uh, for male and the female students here. And uh, for when we compare the classes here, you see only the third year students and uh, would like to get more, not go uh, uh, more uh, on this topic, and as 91.7% uh, here. And uh, let's see, and of course, during the exam, and uh, it's not easy to prepare the questions fully, uh, fully correct, and sometimes we are gonna make a mistake, and uh, the uh, writing A and the writing B instead of that. And uh, this type of mistakes, again, uh, the increased students' anxiety here. And mistakes in test uh, questions increase my stress and anxiety. Sometimes uh, the two questions are uh, the uh, answer, two uh, choices are the same uh, answer. And they are asking us of oh, which one we are going to do that. And because they don't want to uh, lose their time during the exam, they have limited time. And uh, that's why uh, this is another issue for uh, the students in that uh, case. But this is mostly uh, the uh, problem for the second year students and the third year. And then it follows for, uh, with the first year and then uh, fourth year students. And uh, the uh, stress and anxiety, and uh, we have the difference uh, here uh, with respect to own room only Writing tests in different uh, the, uh, time zone increases my stress. And uh, one question per page on uh, an online test increases my stress and anxiety. Actually, this, uh, the, uh, during the COVID term, and some of the international students cannot come to uh, Canada, and uh, they have to follow uh, their education from their home, but with uh, different time zones. And this will cause a problem because if our exam in the morning at eight o'clock and they have to come to, uh, they have to write the same test maybe in the midnight and maybe at uh, 4 a.m. And uh, this depends on our uh, scheduled time. And uh, this will cause a problem uh, for them, uh, especially 
for the international students. And the other one, uh, the uh, per question, I mean, one question per page. And because if we are going to uh, show all the questions at the same time, and uh, they are going to uh, uh, return back and then uh, they, uh, just uh, see the questions, that's why we have to put one question in each page. Otherwise, uh, they are going to post the questions and uh, just reduce the cheating. That's why we have to do that. And, uh, but this will cause uh, the uh, reason, and uh, the, I mean, the, this will cause uh, the anxiety or stress for the students as well. And uh, the mental health, okay, this is the same issue for uh, the grades again. And uh, also, uh, yeah, not going back uh, to previous question, this will increase their stress, especially for with F students, 90%, 98% again with these students. And uh, they are mostly agree on this one. And uh, you see that. And the last one, proctoring uh, exams. And uh, the, the proctoring is another issue because uh, the, to reduce the uh, exam, uh, I mean, cheating, and uh, we have to use technology. And the lockdown browser is one of the uh, proctoring method. And they are not going to uh, use any internal uh, internet uh, services and any documents on their computers. And they, the, uh, the system will record them during the exam. And then uh, they cannot uh, move anywhere else and the surrounding checking and everything. And uh, after that, uh, after the exam, we are just uh, checking the uh, system. And, uh, and if there is any flag that the students' behavior uh, not good in that way, we are checking this if there is any cheating issue or something. Even we did this one, our students uh, achieved that. And uh, I don't know. And they found the way and how to do it. And they uh, just uh, do it, do it while they're uh, staying here and taking the photograph and sending this. But you're not going to see this. And we are not going to uh, protect. But anyhow, we reduce it. And we believe that we reduce it. Anyhow, uh, with the gender differences, I prefer to join Zoom with camera. Um, instead of lockdown browser during the test. Of course, lockdown browser, and they uh, just uh, put the restriction for everything. They are not going to do anything. But when uh, they are joining the Zoom, and of course, and I ask uh, the, my students, you have to join the Zoom, and uh, I will uh, record this Zoom, and uh, the, you're not going to go somewhere else. If you're going to go to washroom, you have to tell me and get my permission, blah, blah, blah. And uh, this will uh, be a little bit uh, relaxable when we compare with the lockdown browser. But the students, they don't like that one as well, because they don't, this is our privacy. Why you are watching us? I said that this is in per kind of in-person exam. If we, you're writing this in class, you're going to write this with uh, the invigilators. They are going to uh, just uh, uh, watch you and uh, what are you doing? And in that way, they uh, said, OK, OK, and this is reasonable. But uh, again, they uh, all uh, generally, they don't want to uh, get any of them, uh, nor uh, the uh, lockdown browser, no, the, neither uh, the Zoom, and they don't want to that. They prefer to write this, uh, that they are alone, and uh, this is the way uh, they have to uh, select. And uh, uh, the other one uh, here, um, I'm very worried about uh, having freezing issues. Okay, okay, now, of course, this is the technology. And we are not, uh, this is not on our hand. And they, for internet connection, if they don't have the good connection and during the exam, and there is a freezing issue, and they are just asking and they are oh, they are panicking and how, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to lose my time. And of course, uh, the, uh, we are going to give extra time for those students, but they will increase their stress uh, during the test. And this is uh, especially for the first year students. And because they are uh, just the uh, first year students, and anyhow, and uh, the others uh, much more better uh, for uh, them in this way. 
Okay, and the last one uh, with respect to own room and grades and uh, lockdown browser reduces my stress. When I ask this question, most of them uh, disagree with that because they don't like that. And uh, the, uh, because of the privacy issue, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, privacy issue, they don't want to uh, check this one if they have any intention uh, to uh, for cheating. And of course, we are gonna protecting this uh, to do that. And uh, that's why, and this is the general habit, they don't like lockdown browser. And uh, what else? And they uh, neither uh, joining the Zoom and with camera or nor uh, lockdown, lockdown browser during the test. And uh, this is uh, the agreement for all students uh, generally. Okay, the conclusion part. And now, actually, here the statistic, the statistical significance uh, uh, that we found between grades and the perceived difficulties of learning statistics and mathematics, because uh, maths and stats, uh, it's not easy to learn by themselves, and uh, we have to explain them because. It depends on the personality of our students. If they have any tendency to learn the math by themselves, it's okay. But uh, if they have, uh, uh, they need help for from their uh, professors or the other uh, person, and that the, uh, of course, it's not easy to learn this, especially statistics. Maths is abstract, and you know two plus two is four, but stat is a little bit different. They have to think about a different way that the two plus two is a four or a three. They have to think about that. And that's why uh, there is a big uh, concern about uh, this one uh, here. And the significant majority of uh, both males and females indicated the preference for multiple choice uh, questions. And uh, the, uh, because uh, the, uh, this reduced, and then at least they have a uh, 20% chance uh, and uh, if they don't know the answer uh, in that way. And gender might have a limited impact on levels of stress and anxiety experiences and uh, the, during the online test, and the other factors may have a more substantial influence here. And the last part here, and especially oh, and in the different grade levels, and this uh, the, uh, this exhibits diverse return, uh, responses to uh, certain aspects of online exam. This is uh, the uh, especially students who receive lower grades demonstrate a stronger preference in class tests, and uh, the, and also experience more mental health issues associated with the online uh, test or exams. And uh, this is the case, what we found uh, here. And uh, grade level may play a role in shaping student perceptions and experiences with online exam, but further investigations must be done uh, with the big size of uh, surveys here. And uh, the lockdown browser of course, uh, the, uh, this increases uh, the, uh, their stress and anxiety. They prefer any exam without proctoring uh, uh, or uh, not with uh, Zoom. And because of the, uh, the uh, privacy issue and also proctoring, because of their stress, they forgot uh, what they know. And uh, that's why uh, they don't uh, prefer uh, any of them here. And the students who receive lower grades express a stronger inclination in person exam. And uh, also regarding freezing issues or technical issues increases their stress. And we have some limitations for this research. The number of questions should be increased about proctoring and uh, the, also the other part and uh, develop anxiety tests uh, should be used for the students and we only prepare uh, the, some questions uh, with respect to our previous uh, research and then uh, they apply this. But uh, actually, if we use develop tests, the anxiety tests, and in that way, we will uh, just uh, measure their anxiety level uh, correctly 
and uh, for the borderline association uh, require a further investigation with a large sample size. And uh, we have only uh, 313 students as the participant, the volunteer participant, and, uh, but uh, this should be more and maybe uh, get uh, the other, uh, I, I don't know, other permissions from our school and to apply this for all students in that and uh, of course, uh, this is the conclusion part, the last part ex exactly. And uh, we have to write uh, the uh, word problems instead of uh, relying uh, multiple choice questions, because uh, we, uh, while preparing the questions during the uh, during the online test, and if we write uh, the uh, let's say equation, solve this equation. When I say that, and uh, they have uh, there is an app on their phone when they, they see that and uh, show this one on their app and they are going to see the solution automatically. That's why we change them in wording format. Let's say x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. We have to express this in verbal form. And uh, in that way, they are not going to cheat. But this, ex uh, uh, this increases their uh, uh, the anxiety and they don't like that. And uh, also, we have to allow students to review and revisit previous questions, answer questions. And of course, we have to see some of the uh, ways and to do that and uh, provide a pilot exam. And uh, of course, uh, we uh, did this before. Before the exams, uh, we uh, posted our uh, pilot test and that uh, they are going to familiar, uh, familiarize uh, the uh, the exam format and everything, and this is the uh, for the actual exam before the actual exam, and uh, communicate the exam format in detail. We uh, posted the announcement and then uh, told them several times in class the format, and uh, they also if there is any internet issues and uh, they have to connect uh, the uh, our IT service or send us an email and uh, we can uh, so try to solve the problem. <coughs> I'm sorry. And the last two here, consider incorporating a paired adaptive test. And uh, this means uh, short answer questions and also multiple answer questions. But in that way, step by step. And uh, I saw in the, um, the literature, and there are some ways to trying to uh, reduce uh, the uh, student anxiety. And in that way, and uh, the, uh, the, their performance uh, getting higher in that way. We have to do that. And uh, hybrid education format can be provided we will insights for comparison. And uh, in that way, and uh, maybe we are gonna give the lectures online and we will give the exams uh, in class, in person. This is another uh, way and to do that. And uh, thank you. And any questions or comments? Thank you. Sorry.